Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to our live. Hey Candy, how are you? So every day, Renee and I come, Monday through Friday that is, every Monday through Friday, Renee and I come to you live. Um, I'm gonna put the times down below. And we come to you live, not for us, although we do enjoy this, but we come to you live so you can learn all about Luminous and what we have to offer, what we do, how to airbrush. So any questions you may have, any, um, you know, whether it's your starter kit, whatever the case may be, we're here for you guys. So we want you to utilize us. We want you to ask us questions about the product and how to use it, all that fun stuff. So we are going to go over the starter kit. I always like to go over the starter kit because I know that a lot of people are maybe looking to order it, wanting to order it, but they're like, I don't know, should I do it? Is that infomercial real? And it is real. But what's cool about our product is the fact that it comes with makeup. So you're not just ordering the kit, but you're ordering, or in your kit, you're not just ordering the system, but you're ordering the system plus the makeup. So we give you everything, everything you need. So it does come with two bottles of foundation. It also comes with um, love and blush. Now the two bottles of foundation are for you to practice. So think of the starter kit as your practice kit. Um, we also want you to be able to customize and tweak your shade throughout the year. We all know we change shades throughout the year. So we wanna make sure that you are adapting to that. And with those two bottles, it gives you that opportunity. And then the love might not be something you use every day, but it's a beautiful illuminator. Um, it grabs the light a little bit, not a, sh a shine or a shimmer or a luminizer, but just a little bit. So it's perfect for those who want a little bit of a luminosity, but not too much. And then our blush is super high pigmented. So it does intensify as well. So meaning it does bloom. Now, when you first start out, these are the four things we want you to do right here. The biggest thing you're going to do is get it out of the box. That's the biggest thing. Get it out of the box and just turn it on. It comes put together and just play with it. Feel that air around your face, move the stylus around. Then you can put water in here and spray water on your face. But when you are doing this, keep in mind that we want you to keep it four finger widths away, keep the stylus moving and barely pull back on the trigger because you're in control over how much product is being released by pulling back on that trigger. So if you are new, please join us and ask questions about the product. If you have anything, if you need to ask anything, let me know. Hello, Patty on YouTube. Hey, Candy. Um, hello, Sharon from Pittsburgh on Facebook. Hello, Lily. Good to see you. Hello, Elba. Good to see you. All right. So we are going to do a complete look. And we did talk about it at the two o'clock hour um, on YouTube. And I'm going to apply the Velvet Veil. I love, love Velvet Veil. If you haven't had an opportunity to get this or try it, it is amazing. It is a blur, 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 blur. So it does blur wrinkles, crinkles. It even helps with my redness, but it's going to soften those lines and how you're putting it. Thank you, Elba. How you put it on is I slide it on and then I kind of tap it into a uh, place. Uh, once it's on, it's on. You don't need to move it. You don't need to reapply it. It does have the dropper, but I honestly, I like doing this. Hello, L Lachey. Is it? Lachey, how are you? Good to see you. So if you go to luminousbeauty.com and check out, we have different ways. I'm going to put it all on my forehead. I was going to put it on one side so you can um, see the difference, but I'm going to put it across my forehead and then I'm going to let y'all see. Um, but there's different ways. So we have different packages, different deals for everybody's price point. Plus you're able to even do a payment plan if you would like, but check those out because we have the legend system. We have the icon and we have the icon pro, but again, keep in mind that it comes with the makeup. So it comes with everything you need. All right. I don't know if y'all can tell, but ooh, 
I love this velvet veil. So I have it on my forehead. Can you tell? And I have it here. Laura, how are you doing today? Can y'all tell the difference? I don't have it here. So I'm about to apply it here. I can already tell, like, especially right in here of the poor gong gong. Um, and now I'm going to get a little bit more. And again, I'm more subconscious, like under my eyes. So I slide it on. Oh, you know where I forgot? I think is my nose. My nose is, has a little bit of redness, and this even helps with redness. So it is a blur, because -er I say a blur because -er it blurs so much. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Now my skin feels like velvet. It feels like butter. It, I mean, it feels so smooth. It is amazing. So with velvet veil, even though it does feel very smooth, you want to airbrush. You want to use airbrush with this. Now I am going to use our, what I do with it? <laughs> Let me all wait for that. Here it is. I'm going to use the light beige concealer. Hey, Deborah on, um, did I say hi, Deborah? I don't know. She's on YouTube. So I'm going to shake this up. This is our Luminous CC concealer. It's an airbrush concealer. It comes in five different shades. When you're first starting out, if you're brand new to Luminous, all I want you to, to do or worry about is the foundation. Just get the foundation down. If you ordered the Silk 4-in-1, our Silk 4-in-1 is more forgiving, meaning it has anti-aging properties in it. It has your moisturizer primer. It has your concealer. It has your foundation. And so you're able to go straight into airbrushing, but just get that movement down. I want you solely to concentrate on the movement, making sure you're pulling that trigger back. That's probably going to be the biggest thing to practice because this isn't traditional makeup. You are not applying it like regular makeup. Um, and so make sure you're not doing that. So you do want to apply it so softly and so light that you question whether or not it's going on. So I now have, um, have it on. There is air that's going, you can see it in my hair, but nothing is being released until I pull back on this trigger. Okay. So I actually start, I'm going to do it under my eyes and kind of just make an overall, overall pass, like right in here. So I go in and I start making my movement and then pull back on the trigger. That way it helps uh, from getting any hot spots. So you won't have a, a makeup right away. That's a technical term. And so again, I'm going to do my lids because my lids are also um, dark than the rest of my, my body or my face. And so I am going to go in there and even those out as well. Now, I did get it a little um, where I could tell it was going to uh, be a little show my wrinkles on the inside. And so all you had to all you have to do if you hit it immediately is I just tapped it out. You'll hear me say that a lot. I'll just say, tap it out, tap it out. If you mess up, tap it out. If you get a hot spot, tap it out. All right, so I think that is it. Yep, all right. So found, found it. The concealer is on. What the concealer is doing is just giving me kind of a step up to coverage. So if you want to do everything with just the foundation, you can, you definitely can. But if you want another little step up, you can do that as well. So now let's use, this is, let's see which ones. Maybe we'll use plum. This is plum blush. Now the plum blush is normally in our darker skin tone kits is this one right here. But because of how you apply Luminous, you, any skin tone can wear it. Where like you might want three drops of um, blush for the darker skin tone. You on the lighter skin tone, maybe you just use one or two. Hey Yolanda, how are you? So I put in three 
And I know that some of you guys are thinking, has she done her foundation yet? No, I haven't. Because our blush blooms and because it intensifies once it dries, I'm actually doing blush first. So when I apply the foundation, the foundation's going to help me blend it away. So it makes it a little bit easier um, until you get used to it. How um, Angela on YouTube is asking, how would you use the use the green for redness? Angela, I you, <laughs> it's always like, oh, I did it yesterday. I actually talked about the color correctors um, yesterday. So if you go to YouTube and go under all the videos, go to either video uploads. I think it's under uploads. Um, you'll be able to see that we talked about that. Um, but the green color corrector, which I have right here, is for redness. And you're only going to use a couple of drops. That's it. You can also put a drop of your um, foundation in it to make sure you're applying it evenly. And you make sure you apply it so light because you don't want to look like the Wicked Witch of the West, okay? So you shouldn't be able to really see green. All right, making sure I get this right. I have to like smirk. Okay, so you can tell that this blush is ooh, ooh. <laughs> Angela on, on YouTube is like, oh, dang, figures I missed. I know, isn't that always the case? It's always like, oh, missed it by that much. Uh, but hey, you didn't miss anything because we it's on video. So you can go back and watch that for sure. All right, so I just did my blush. I don't need all of that, so I'm actually going to empty the rest of it out. Making it sure, but see how it's starting to bloom bloom all right so now i'm gonna put this one up whoops and then do i have i was gonna contour this one it's still i'm looking for it where is it here's x out in a medium but um i was gonna contour with the matte bronzer and I, oh wait, maybe I can do this one. All right, now shaking up a bronzer. Oh, this one I had the cap that I needed to fix as well. So I'm gonna put a couple of drops of the bronzer right in my little bowl here. And now I'm going to contour. So I start at the middle of my ear, go towards the corner of my mouth, but stop at the color of my eye. And I'm just, I'm, I'm blending it into that blush. And I do go back and forth until I get it to the intensity. Just I, like I tell you every single day, that passes, making passes, that's how you get the coverage. And making passes is how you get the intensity that you want. Might need to put another drop in there. Contour makes such a difference. All right, so there I'm gonna blow the rest of that out. And then, and if y'all are thinking about this, I still haven't even done my foundation. So even though I haven't done my foundation yet, I'm getting coverage through all these other steps. So don't think that you know, they're like, oh my gosh, I still need to cover. No, anything you're putting on your face, you're getting that has pigment, you're getting coverage. So, no, like even a blush, you're going to get coverage. All of that. 
I'm trying to find the rose gold illuminizer that I know I had. I knew I had it. Let's see if it's this one. No. Where is it? Light beige, light beige. Where's my rose gold? People walk off with my stuff. They really don't. I don't know. I just put stuff away and forget. <laughs> Aha. I know I have an open one. Again, these luminizers, I don't have, this one's not open. So our luminizers are have a heavier pigment in them. Um, I know I have one of these open though. For sure, we're gonna find it. Aha. Yes, I did. Yes, I wasn't totally mis lost it yet. <laughs> All right, so I'm shaking it up. I actually hit it, I'm, that noise that you're hearing is I'm hitting it on the counter, shaking it up to make sure that I get this moving. And now I'm putting my drops in here. Oh, Angela, what'd you get? Angela got another shipment of makeup. This is the Rose Gold Illuminizer. Um, and I'm going to put it on top, like high cheekbone area to give me my shine. And down my nose there all right now my foundation um let's see shaking 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 bike so i'm using silk four in one shade three and i go in and start making my pass I go out when I first did, I'll go in and make one complete pass. And then I go in and cover what I need to cover. So I might not get, you know, my blush and everything blended as much as I want to on that first pass, but know that I can go in and blend it again. So don't try Like if we were doing traditional makeup, you would sit there and cover it until you got it to where you want it. That's not how you're going to do airbrush. That's not how you're going to do luminous. Make my passes, get my coverage. Blend it down. See how not everything's nice and blended, nice and blended. All right, there we go. How's it looking, guys? Can y'all see the difference? Looking flawless and more like not, I mean, I, I got some makeup on, but it's not looking heavy or cakey. Regardless of your coverage, it should never look heavy or cakey. How you put on Luminous, how you airbrush goes on so light that you won't have that heavy cakey look, feel, or anything, okay? All right, so let's see, what eye should I do? Let's use, um, what is this one? Is this optics? Maybe we use optics. Let's use optics today. Um, so I'm gonna br take a blending brush. Thank you, Deborah on Facebook says I look fabulous. And flawless. Ooh. Um, where's a flat eyeshadow brush? I use these. All right. So no. Hmm. I'm like, what colors do I want to use? What color did I use the other day that I really? Oh, the green and gold. I did like that one. But let's go in. I think I'll use the Lovells palette in the um, this one right here. So I'm gonna kind of mix them together, use both of them. 
Um, I'm going to use la 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 la. Let's use Union, which is a shimmer. So I'm doing the blending, and I'm going to use this right in. My kind of my deep crease. And then I do, I always show you, hey, Linda. Hey, Mindy. Oh, Mindy, that's good. Thank you for saying something. Patty, uh, Patty on, on uh, YouTube said it's making me look really light. I know, I noticed that too. I don't know if it's the lights or um, because in person I'm like, I look dark. Um, like I was thinking I was a little bit too dark, but on camera it makes me look so light. All right, so I'm taking Union and I'm bringing that into the crease. Now, I always show you how to make things pop and like intensify the color. So I'm gonna show you actually how you can blend it. So I'm going to use Flash, which is this bright yellow. You'll hear me say this all the time. I was like, I am never going to use that color. It's one of my faves. So that being said, you need to really reach out and like push the envelope. Push it. Do something different before you take your makeup off. That is a great way to, to learn different, like what different makeup looks that you like that maybe you thought you couldn't pull off or maybe you thought you couldn't do, whatever the case may be, you can really do it, because it doesn't matter, you're gonna take your makeup off. So I'm gonna go in and do this. And see, look how bright that is, okay? And now I'm going in with Obsession, which is the dark brown, I think I'm gonna use a smaller brush. Still a blending brush, but smaller, with Obsession. And I'm using this mainly to get the product on. Blending that in. And then now I'll use the bigger brush to blend it in. Now remember when doing traditional makeup, that first touch that you put the brush is where the majority of the makeup is going to go. And so when you're doing this, um, just remember that because you can see it here and then blend it. So you do want it mainly on the outside and then you can blend everything in. But oh, I'm just loving that brown. I mean that gold. All right, now I'll go in and do the bottom. So I used, um, Amber on YouTube's asking what palette, I used the Lover's palette, which I probably shouldn't use anymore because I don't think we have it. But you could also use the Nude and Naughty palette because it has a lot of neutrals in it, but this is the Lover's palette. And I used these two. And then on the Optics palette, I used Flash which is that bright color. All right. So now, let me take all this out. Oh, like that. I am going to grab my compact powder and a fluffy brush and swipe a little just to make sure that I have everything um, removed because sometimes you'll get some fallout and if you do a little bit of um, powder underneath to wipe it, it will get rid of it for you. And I think I'm going to tweak my eyebrows a little bit as well. I went lighter on the inside. And um, I don't know if I like that, but I think my, like, I need more hair like in the front. But I don't I have to work on it a little bit more. Hello, Rosie. How are you? All right. Now 
I'm taking Persuasion Eyeliner in the brown, and I'm gonna line my eyes. And I do it on the side, just drag it by. Right, like that. Now, the reason I'm doing this first, because I am going to put lashes on. When everybody's like, oh, I never can do lashes. It, that looks so hard. I, and we always talk about that. Doing the eyeliner gives you a spot to shoot for. So when I'm putting on my eyeliner, I'm going whoop, straight to there. Okay. So now let me find my glue. Or we can't do that. <laughs> get my glue out. Let me get some lashes out. We have some amazing, amazing lashes. There's some for every day. Um, Glam Diva, I mean, they are amazing. Um, I know what a lot of you guys do is you get less expensive ones and you practice with those. And that's perfect because if you can put on the less expensive ones, you can put on anything. So I'm taking these and I'm rolling them just a little bit. And I roll them to shape, to go in the shape of my eye. Um, I'm going to curl. Now, you know, it's a trick with curling the lashes because you don't want to curl them too hard where they curl up into the lash. So because my ends I already know are super curly. I'm honestly just curling the inside and just a little bit. If your lashes stick straight out, maybe you can curl a little harder or curl all of them. So I'm going to drag the lash through the glue and I'm just getting it on that band, just on the band. like that. And now I'm going to do the other one. Now I'm doing the other one because I do want the glue to dry a little bit. If the glue is tacky, you're able to move the lash wherever you need it. Plus the fact wherever it sticks, it'll stick. It won't slide. If the glue is still wet, then it has a tendency to slide a little bit more. I'm going to take this down. And now I'm going, I have my little mirror boop, and I switched it over to the five time magnification. And now I'm going to go in, look down. And put my lash in place. Okay. See how it sticks in place? And then you can use your tweezers or whatever tool you want to use. They now have all those fancy tools. I'm moving that closer to my lash line. And the ends popping up. So I'm going to go back here and make sure it doesn't pop up again. So I'm going to hold that in place a little bit more because it's still a little wet. So if you have, like, I had one side that popped up, like, don't freak out about it. Go and work it. If you, you have, since the glue is getting tacky, it doesn't dry. It doesn't go from like wet to dry and can't move. Um, you have some time to work with it. So I guess basically what I would say is work at a section at a time. And, you know, make your moves when you need to. But at least doing the the line that I did, I have, 
I'm shooting for something. So if you are new to doing lashes, you're able to have like a goal <laughs> to go to. All right. So no. Go in and do this one up and over my lash. See, I can even go in. This one's lifting on the inside a little bit. So I can go in and do this one right here. Hold that there. And make sure he stays. And then hold him in place. And see, it's sticking straight up. But I don't care. I do care that my stool is squeaky. Probably going to fall off one day where it's just going to collapse. So just, I'm taking my time with it. Like I'm not in a hurry. Making sure they all stick, having fun. And there we go. Voila. And sometimes, I mean, you'll get to the point where you can kind of feel them. You're like, oh, I think this is sticking up. Or if I get it too close to the lash line, I can feel the glue a little bit. So you can kind of move it. Um, you can close your tweezers. And if you need to push it down a little bit, you can do that as well. So it's closer to that lash line. There's a lot of things you can do. But the big thing is let it get tacky and then you're not going to have to, you don't have to rush to put it on. Woo, lashes make such a difference. I love it. All right. So now um, I was going to do a bolder lip, but I feel like my eyes are pretty bold. So let's do, which one is this one? Pouting Peony, which is a little more on the neutral side. But I don't know. I kind of want a brighter one. Let's see what Naked Jasmine turns out. <laughs> These are so creamy. I love them. These are the um, liquid lips. Not the vinyl slick but the liquid ones. And I think I'm going to deepen it a little bit more. Muzad, good to see you, my friend. Okay, so I just put those two on top of each other to kind of deepen it a little bit. And then I think, I wish I had Dusty Rose, but let's see. I'm using the Naughty Pink to uh, ex make that line more exact. Muzi, I know you're working so hard, baby. I'll just go line that and make it more precise. But you can't really tell that it's so pink. And there we go. So sometimes you just need that more precise line. I could even put a lip topper on a uh, unicorn. If I put unicorn on, that would make a huge difference. Just those little touches can make such a big difference in your lips and your look. Adding eyeliner makes a huge difference as well. Um, it depends on what mood you're in. You can do it with or without. There's no rules as far as that goes. But, you know, some days you're going to feel like eyeliner. Some days maybe not. So it's a, a lot of fun to change it up. So now that these are dry a little bit, I'm going to go back in and reline. especially in the front here to 
bridge that gap. Hey, Muzette, at least you're still being able to work from home, babe. I actually loved working from home. I think I worked harder from home because I'm worried about like missing something or like want to make sure I get everything done. So there you go, guys. There you go. Lashes and all. So guys, anyone can do it. I promise you can do this. So take time and, and relax when putting on lashes. Anybody can airbrush. Anybody can do the same exact look. So have fun, do something fun before you take your makeup off, push the envelope a little bit um, and see if, you, hey, I never did a smoky eye. Let's do this. Let's, you know, you can kind of change it up and see what you want to do. All right, guys. All right. I will see you later, Muzette. So good to see you, my friend. Guys, have a wonderful Tuesday and we will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.